it's emerged that 50% of all neonatal deaths at the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital occur within 24 hours after birth. Now, that's not all. Up to 80% of those deaths happen within the first week. Now, the hospital says that the situation could be turned around if the facility was properly equipped. Central Regional Correspondent Richard Kwejo has been learning a bit more about this. The cry of babies at the neonatal intensive care units of the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital. Sadly, it is not all the babies here that live to tell the stories they brought forth with to the world. Some barely spend 24 hours in this world. 50% of them die within 24 hours and 80% of them die within a week after their birth. Yema Mariama Bukari is a specialist pediatrician at the hospital. It has to do with referrals, it has to do with equipment, it has to do with expertise, it has to do with infrastructure. And even that does not solve all of the problems, there are many more. So looking at referrals, we still have a problems where people are being referred late. And I'm saying that because when you look at the internal audits that we do as a department, looking at our neonatal deaths, we realize that 50% of our deaths are dying within the first 24 hours when it comes to newborns. So generally, all the newborn mortalities, 60% of our mortalities, the deaths, are from outside referrals and then 40 percent are inborn that is from the delivery suite if you want to see those who are dying within the first week it goes up to about 80 percent so most of our mortalities are within the first week practically the cape coast teaching hospital has no neonatal intensive care unit the unit is more of a makeshift structure simply put the unit purchased with another department as at the end of 2018, they had only one functional incubator. That's not all. Nurses and doctors here go through hectic moments in order to save babies here because equipment and other supporting facilities are practically not there. Towards the latter part of 2018, we only had one incubator. That poses a risk because you have babies who are very low birth weight babies. 1 kilo, 1.5 kilo, and you need the incubator to keep and provide warmth for these babies. And if one person is there already and you're taking a call from a referral center that, oh, you know, I, I have a 1 kilo baby I'm sending to you, it is very difficult. We still accept, but we are not able to provide all that warmth. And I'm just using incubator, but uh, there is also a machine which gives light, which we call phototherapy. This is a referral facility that caters for the close to 3 million population of the central region and even beyond. Acting CEO of the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital, Dr. Eric Njedu, says the hospital is soliciting support to deal with the challenge. As we indicated in the performance review, we lack adequate space to contain the units that are referred to this hospital. In actual sense, we don't have a neonatal intensive care unit. We have, as the board and management, submitted a proposal for development of such a structure with a benevolent uh, organizations. And the ministry is uh, deeply aware and is making effort to also look at how such edifice can be erected. In the interim, there is a need to create space within the existing hospital infrastructure and then put up uh, gadgets like baby warmers. Uh, phototherapy machines and incubators to be able to house these uh, new needs when they are referred to our facility. And so the hospital is supported to deal with this heartbreaking situation, babies born here would continue to die. Richard Kwejunyakon, Joy News, Cape Coast. Right, our central regional correspondent Richard Kwejo Nyako joins us on the phone now. Kwejo, uh, this is a, a, a worrying story, uh, but um, so many factors, including the lack of incubators and um, referrals, are uh, being pointed at. Tell us about the referrals. How are they contributing to this high mortality rate? Well, Kwejo, you know that um, the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital is the biggest referral facility in the central region and they serve the people of the central region. And even 
people from the western and, and some parts of the Ashanti region, they all tend to the Ekekul teaching hospital. So what the doctors explain is that uh, when people are referred from uh, are referred from the, the smaller facilities to the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital, they usually delay. And sometimes the referrals come very late when the people are in critical condition. Sometimes they bring them when they are almost even dead. And that poses a bigger challenge. Beside or beyond the referral um, challenge they have, um, like they've mentioned, um, some phototherapy, some warming machines, other supporting facilities that they will support these children to live. I mean, these are practically non-existent. And so that is really what is accounting for this uh, statistic that they put out during their 2018 uh, review. In fact, when they put them out, the board chair who chaired uh, that particular function was not really happy and said they should, within um, the shortest possible time, put in place mechanisms to deal with this challenge because this is a worrying situation that I mean, people should not even be told about. Now, when we dealt with the mother and baby unit in Konfu Anoche uh, Teaching Hospital, we, we learned that the, refer, the district hospitals that refer cases to Konfu Anoche should have better facilities so as to be able to deal with the majority of the cases they end up referring. Is the uh, Cape Coast uh, Regional Hospital suffering from the same problem? Yes, they, they, they are suffering from the same problem, and theirs is even dire because they do not have a NICU center or the neonatal intensive care unit where these children uh, would be supported. What they, are, they have is a makeshift fact that they are actually patching with another facility that is there. So they, they have just squeezed a place for them and they are performing this activity. That's a very important activity that will save the lives of babies um, in the central region and part of the Ashanti and, West, and, and Western region. So it's become a problem to the hospital. When I spoke with the acting CEO of the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital, he told me that the hospital is going to look for a place to deal with this situation so they are in, um, in, in touch with the Ministry of Health and the Ghana Health Service so they could uh, raise some funds to construct um, a new block that will be specifically for the neonatal intensive care unit so that this challenge or, or this kind of statistic they put out, I mean, there will be a reduction in it. Right. Now, let's talk about the incubators. Every hospital in this country complains about not having enough of them. Uh, what is the actual situation in, in, in terms of numbers of incubators at the uh, Central Regional um, Hospital? Well, 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 the start of... Uh, they started 2018 with four incubators. And because of the pressure on the incubators, all of them became malfunctioned. And so at the end of 2018, there was only one that was functional. As of yesterday that I got in touch with the authorities, they said that, well, in 2019, they've been, I mean, another incubator has been given to the hospital, so they now have two. But they explained that the two... I mean, it's woefully inadequate because it's just like people in a queue. A baby would need to be uh, put in the incubator. But because, I mean, there are only two incubators, the baby sometimes would have to be, be in the queue and die in the process. And so they need incubators and more. They mentioned phototherapy that they use in taking care of babies that come with joint discs. They take care of them and they say that, I mean, they have limited number of them. They mentioned other facilities apart from the incubator. So um, let's look at the situation this way, that the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital, the neonatal intensive care unit, has no, uh, th th there is no unit like that there, that they are forced to perform the function of that particular center. Right. And to be clear, these figures you've given us of the 50% uh, dying within 24 hours. Um, these are avoidable deaths. Am I right? Yes. If the facilities are there, if they had their own unit facility, a bigger structure there, if they had incubators and other things there, the nurses and the doctors, they, they are avoidable. Apart from the referrals that they have to deal with because now they are holding educational um, outreaches for the, those, the, the facilities that refer the people 
and then to the pregnant women themselves that delay in the process and they also even pinpoint or point to poverty because when some of them are referred they don't even come to the hospital straight away they would have to look for other resources before they come so sometimes they spend two or more days before they even leave that hospital that has referred them to the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital. Sometimes they would also have to even refer people from the Kolebu, uh, to the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, a bigger facility more than theirs. But still they have to go through that because people would have to look for funds in order to pay for even the transport to send the children there. And all of these things are deaths that they count as part of the 60% that die within the 24 hours. Right. Richard Kojinyako, no doubt we'll be learning more about this rather worrying story as the days unfold. We appreciate your time with us this afternoon. And uh, I can give you an update that we have sought a response from government on this uh, very worrying trend. Uh, the, 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 the Ghana Health Service have, have indicated that they are aware of this situation, uh, but are currently uh, tied up in Parliament uh, with a Public Accounts Committee hearing, um, which is currently dealing with Kolibu Teaching Hospital. And so uh, they were not available to comment on this matter. But the story, of course, has only just unfolded. There will be more in the coming bulletin.